Hello everyone, and welcome back to Man's Woodland Perspective How-To Videos. This one is about removing noise in your image from high ISO shots. I always tell everyone that it's always important to use higher ISOs and lower shutter speeds in low light situations, because you can always remove ISO or noise from an image, and you can't remove motion blur from a lower shutter. This is my example photo, my cat Milo. This was shot at ISO 32,000, 70 millimeters, f5, 1 800 of a second. Now if you zoom in, you can see there's a lot of noise on his face, in the shadows, background, pretty much everywhere. It's pretty gross. And the best way to remove this noise is not using the noise reduction tool in Lightroom, which if you use too much of it, it gives everything a super soft, unnatural look. That kind of porcelain fake skin. It's even worse on fur, but if you get rid of that, put it back to zero, and you get the plug-in from Nick Collection 2012 edition, which is free. The paid version was updated in 2018 or 2019. I believe it's 90 to 100 dollars, but the free version works just as good. To get it, you go to their website right here. I'll have the link in the description. All you have to do is type in your email click submit and it will show up in your inbox just like this. And if you have Macintosh or Windows click whichever download link you need for what computer or OS you are using. Once you get it installed and you have the picture that you want to edit with that plugin, right click on the picture as long as you're in the developer tab, click edit in and click define to. Define is the noise reduction tool. As soon as it comes up, always click edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments and resolution of 300 DPI. That's my personal opinion. You can leave it as 240 if you wish. Click edit. It will apply its own measurements of the noise and guesstimate on how much needs to be removed without taking too much. The bottom view here is going to be your preview. And in the bottom right, you have this box you can drag around. This shows you the preview areas with the noise removal added. If you don't like how much has been removed, click reduce and you can adjust it on these two bars. I usually have a personal preference of doing about 70 to 80 percent. That way you still have a little bit of texture to give you some detail when you zoom back out. If you want to zoom out, you have to hit left alt. It turns into a negative sign on your cursor. You can click that and zoom out. You can see an overall comparison of the before and after. Once you're satisfied with that, you can click save. It will save it as a second file, as a TIFF. then you get this. This is your noise removal version. You can still adjust this as if you would any other picture, but I highly suggest you do your noise removal last because this is a TIFF file, not a RAW file. You don't have as much information to play with. Always do your noise removal last. Hopefully this was helpful, and I hope you have a good day.